Before we get off of basketball really quick, I got to shout out my main man, Swaggy T. Big game five for, for Swaggy T, also known as Tyler Hero, you know, for the, for the folks at home that don't know. And I just wanted, you know, when people start calling uh, Tyler Hero Swaggy T, y'all better make sure that y'all come back to the archives and know who gave him the nickname Swaggy T first. That came from Real Fans Real Talk. Um, but the young cat has been dominating – uh, you know, throughout the playoffs, he's had a, he's had a great great season. He did get banged up a little bit during the regular season, but uh, since he's come back, being in the bubble, going into the playoffs with with, with Miami, um, he's been a driving force in what the Miami Heat have have been able to do. Um, and thirty seven points by by rookie in the Eastern Conference uh, Finals is, is is not an easy thing to do. Uh, not too many rookies have had games like that. He almost had a triple-double the other night, um, and he's a huge uh, part of the reason that Miami has only lost one game in, in each series. His consistency coming off the bench, shooting the three. He was five for ten in game four from, from downtown. The rest of the team had only hit five three-pointers the entire game. Um, you know, so I'm just, I, I'm happy for him. I, I definitely wish more. I, I picked Miami to win this season to win the series against Boston. I thought it would have been a little closer than it has been. Um, but I think Miami just goes on and closes this thing out. Um, you know, Bam out of bio, Goran Dragic have both played well. Duncan Robinson has been a, a little bit up and down uh, throughout this, this playoffs. But, you know, he's, he's been good enough for, for them to get over the hump. And they've been able to withstand everything Boston has been able to throw at them. And, you know, that's no slight to Jason Tatum and uh, Jalen Brown because they played really well. Kimba's been a little bit up and down. Um, but they did get Gordon Haywood back in this series. And he's been giving them some good minutes and some good production off the bench. But I, I just think Miami is too too hot and – Everybody is is just they're, they're stepping up and they're playing. And even on the nights where they may, uh, you know, let's say Jimmy Butler might not be putting up 25, 30 points, he's playing defense, locking cats up, he's rebounding. And I think that's the mentality that the entire Miami Heat uh, organization has has kind of kind of kind of put on. It's pretty much you better do something and contribute, you know, so that we can win. And that's what they've been doing. Everybody has stepped up. Uh, guys that haven't that aren't known defensive players have been playing really good defense. They're shooting the ball really well. Uh, you know, Bam Adebayo is is really setting the tone on the defensive end of the basketball, and he'll throw it on you at any moment in time and, and catch an easy N one uh, play. Uh, thanks to to Dragic and uh, Tyler Hero, who have been really running the the, the, the floor um, for Miami. They've been doing a great job. And then Jimmy Butler, you know, he's just been perfect for the Miami Heat. He's exactly what the Miami Heat needed as far as their best player. And they're exactly what he needed as far as an organization goes. So, again, I think they, they close out this series in five. I don't think they want to they wanna waste any time and, and have this thing lingering on. So, shout out to my main man, Swaggy T. I don't think they close it out just yet. I think the series has been closed, even though it's a 3-1 lead. Um, because Boston Blue leads in game one and game two. Um, so this series could easily be 2-2 had Boston found a way to hold on to one of those leads. But the biggest issue with Boston has been Kemba Walker has been so inconsistent in this series. And on the flip side of that, Miami has found ways to get contributions from a number of different guys, as you mentioned. Even if Jimmy, does, even if Jimmy doesn't have it going, Bam has had it going. Tyler has had it going. Dragic obviously has been great throughout these playoffs. So they have a collection of guys and they have this, this depth that Boston really can't match. And that's really been a difference in the series. And, and no disrespect to the Lakers. I don't want to project forward and, and automatically assume that Miami's going to get there. But Miami is probably just the most dangerous team left in these playoffs because of that depth. They could easily go 10, 11 guys deep. And when you get that type of production and you can bring so many different guys off the bench, it's hard for any other team to keep up. You start to wear them down. And that's exactly what we've seen against Boston. Boston jumps out to these big leads, but then Boston gets worn down. Smush Parker here, formerly up to the Los Angeles Lakers, and you are now tuned in to Real Fans Real Talk. Uh huh. This is Real Fans Real Talk. Real Fans Real Talk. We as real as you thought. Real 